Hello and welcome to episode 11 of season 2. In this episode we're going to look at circle images. This will uh, be a custom form element that uses uh, platform specific code to render an image but uh, cut off using a circle. First we're going to make uh, a portable class in a portable project named image circle. This is going to be a public class and it has four proper uh, three properties. Uh, n is an uh, n has the base class of an image. The three properties uh, will uh, make more uh, flexibility in the appearance of your circle image. Uh, also, we're going to add a circle name to specify uh, to give the circle an ID of the image an ID. So if you have multiple circle uh, uh, circle images in one view, you can distinguish them in code by using this ID. We're going to make bindable properties so that if you uh, get it, get the property in the platform specific code, you know which one it is. So we got the border thickness property that's going to be the uh, small line around the image to give you more flexibility of your appearance. The other two properties will be the uh, border color and the fill color. I'm going to copy paste the border thickness property so that you can easily uh, add the other two bindable properties. Don't forget to set the type to color otherwise you'll get errors later on.
with the portable class done we're going to add the android uh, specific code and the ios specific code first we're going to focus on the android code uh, we're going to add a class and then uh, first we're going to set the assembly line the assembly line will uh, be used specifically for each platform to indicate which uh, uh, type it's going to implement so if you're going to call uh, the image circle in your portable class the compiler knows that if you compile for an android uh, phone uh, this specific uh, code is used in the image circle uh, function so uh, the image circle renderer uh, will uh, will be extending the image renderer this will give us the possibility to overwrite the normal image renderer. If you use uh, the image circle without overriding this, the normal image renderer will be used and all the normal parameters of an image will be set. And the uh, properties that you bind will not be used. Please look carefully at the functions that I'm overriding. The element change isn't that uh, yeah, hard, but the element property changed, uh, you have to add a lot more code. Uh, the specifics I'm not going to explain uh, because every step uh, speaks on its own. You need to, uh, to uh, specify which property uh, types there are so in the first if statement I check if the properties are there if this is uh, not so uh, the, uh, the function will, be call, uh, will uh, say it's invalid With the function draw child, we're going to uh, be drawing, uh, overwriting the drawing function that is called when you render an image. Here we're going to uh, calculate the radius of the uh, of the circle and the border of it, and use the paint and canvas to fill this. Please look carefully at each line to determine what each line does and why I'm doing it. I'm not going to explain all of this because if you uh, read it line for line uh, and uh, look at the uh, variable names I'll use, you should guess what each line is about.
Now with the Android function, uh, with the Android class done, we're going to make the iOS image re uh, image circle renderer. Like the Android version, don't forget to make the assembly line. If you don't uh, add this line, you're going to have problems uh, when you run it on the specific device. And the error will not be that exact that you know where the, uh, the error will be. So we're going to use the exact same functions as in the Android, but the code here will be a lot shorter because iOS uh, has a more easy way to uh, make an image circle because it already has functionality uh, to get this result. So first we're going to overwrite the on element changed. I'm going to check if the element is not zero and if that is return. Otherwise we're going to create our circle. Now we're going to overwrite the element property change and then like in the Android version we're going to check if all the properties are there. If the properties are there we're going to call the draw of the create circle function. We're going to use a try catch to give the uh, debug functionality some indication of why the circle image isn't rendering. So now we're going to uh, make the uh, functionality to draw the circle. First we're going to uh, get the minimum of the width or height to tell what the corner radius must be for the image. With the control layer uh, we're going to set a lot of different uh, parameters and at the end we're going to have our uh, circle image. Now all, now all our uh, functionality is done, so only thing we have to do is init the image circle in our view. So like all the other elements we added to our main page, we're going to add a circle image. We're going to set the uh, parameters when we're creating the image circle object. Look at the code how I uh, do this and which parameters I'm going to set. Then I'm going to add the image circle to a new stack layout I added in the XAML page.
with this set you can run your app and if you have done every step right you're going to see an image circle in the middle of your screen with a few more adjustments you can uh, get any shape you like and also get every color uh, border you want i hope you enjoyed this tutorial like and subscribe if you want more of these videos and thank you uh, for uh, getting me to 500 subscribers thank you very much bye